Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this video, we're gonna talk about an interesting plugin, or we're gonna take you to a guide that's very important if you are having a website such as a event marketplace in different languages. So when it comes to WP translation service or multi-language WordPress website, no one beats WPML as everyone knows the WPML uh, plugin or extension is the best way to localize your website in multiple languages so we made our wp event manager plugin and its extensions or add-ons so that it can work with wp ml flawlessly so in this series we're gonna solely talk about that how to set up wp ml how to uh, translate certain stuff and much more actually so you can find uh, more details about the wp ml installation and the procedure to make your site compatible with multiple languages in the website you can head over to our uh, knowledge base that link we're gonna provide you at the description section and i'm gonna show you as well like how to do it in this website so basically you need to buy wpml for their official website so that should be wpml.org and you need to download four plugins from their website you can obviously download those files after completing the purchase on wpml.org. So those four plugin names are WPML Multilingual CMS, String Translation, Translation Management, and Media Translation. Right? We're gonna take more look into it, what each plugin does and what each plugin's function is and what changes they bring into the website. I have those plugins downloaded into my computer since i purchased it and when you purchase the wpml suite you will get an license key alongside with it as well so let's go ahead and install the plugins and add-on and we're gonna set it up so we can use it in this website to convert this wordpress website into a different language or localize it so let's go ahead and install the plugins as always we're gonna go to plugins then add new Then we're gonna click on upload plugin. In here, we're gonna click on choose file. So now we're gonna select our file. So let's go ahead and install the WPML multilingual CMS. But as you can see, the package name here says Sitepress multilingual CMS. So that's the same thing. So let's open that and we're gonna click install now. and from here we need to click on activate plugin so as soon as you activate the wpml plugin it's recommended to get started with the wpml wizard you will see a banner over here where you can actually click on configure wpml or you can actually view the getting started guide as well so let's follow the flow and we're going to click on over here So this is the WPML setup wizard, which we're gonna use. So our current website does use English. So let's keep English, but feel free to choose any uh, language over here. That's your default language in this WordPress website. For us, it's English. So let's click on next. And so this is where you can choose translation languages, right? So for this demonstration, I'm not going to go ahead and like uh, choose an extensive amount of languages. For the demonstration, let's choose my uh, mother tongue or that's known as Bengali. So I'm going to choose Bengali as of now for the demonstration. But you can choose any languages from this list that you want to provide the translation in this website or localize it into it, right? So let's go ahead and click on next. And in this language switcher, screen it will take some time to load after that we can see a language switcher options and over here you will see a little help carrots over here where you can actually uh, click to pop up and a uh, help text that will help you along with the setup wizard about what each step is but i'm gonna go ahead and explain anyway so order of languages the, this will configure a drop down where uh, we can configure the priority of the languages right so in this priority the bengali will show up first but we can even drag english first to show up english first then the bengali right 
and then we have how to handle languages without translation we have skip language or link to home of language for missing translation pretty much self-explanatory so what this means let's click on over here we will see so it says some content may not be translated to all languages so that's not possible automatically if it fails then it can skip the language or it will link back to home for missing translations right so then we have menu language switcher from here we can add a language switcher to our menu so let me open my front end side and you will see what i mean by that so let's come here as you see my default menu looks like this that has like six links by default home events event dashboard organizer dashboard menu dashboard and my account so from this section over here you can choose a menu and it will let you add the language which are directly to the menu automatically so you can even choose some parameters as well such as if you want to put the language switcher at the first position over here that you can choose from here and by default it's better to have the language switcher at the right side so that's selected by default over here and language menu item style so by default it's drop down that's pretty convenient and one neat feature is you can actually view the language switcher over here at the right hand side in real time so list of languages this will not show as a drop down but this method or this styling is very handful when you are using like a hamburger menu right so if we click this then it will show like this right but that's not good for like this top style menu over here but that's pretty convenient for siding menu or the hamburger menu style so then we have some features to toggle on that what to include in the language switcher so by default we have native language name language name in current language and current language right and we have a flag by default that disabled if we turn this on we will see a flag just beside of the language as well so i, I think these uh, options over here are pretty much self-explanatory i'm turning this flag stuff on right now then we have our language switcher color from here you can select some some presets and then you can actually modify them as well but i'm not going deep into them like it's purely for styling purpose you can figure them out you can play with them to achieve your perfect styling uh, preset or you can modify them as by your need so let's click on save so as you can see we have the value over here that we can also edit but coming on to the next point we have our widget language switcher so if we click this we can add a widget to a sidebar or available widget section with a language switcher so this is the pretty much same thing as we saw in the menu language switcher but in in form of a widget right so we can select a widget area from here we can even select the language switcher style and we can even title the widget that we are creating and we can select the color preset so i'm not selecting or creating any widget language switcher as of now let's close this then we have our footer language switcher and if we check this we will be able to configure the footer language switcher as well from here so let's save this and then we have link to translation of post so what that means like if you have blog posts that will include a link in the bottom section of the post saying that this post is available in this language as well so let's click this carrot and we will see what i am talking about it says you can display links to the translation of post before the post and after it this links looks like this post is also available in then there will be the language name so i'm not turning this on as we don't really require it as of now but as always feel free to toggle these settings on if you require it so now let's go ahead and move to the next step and here we have the compatibility reporting so this is for telemetry purpose as it says clearly over here the wpml plugin can send a list of active plugins and theme used in your website to wpml.org this allows our support team to help you much faster and contact you in advance about potential compatibility problem and their solutions so this is as i said this is a telemetry option solely on you you want to enable it to help wpml uh, increase the compatibility list or you can even choose to disable the sending diagnostic reports to wpml if you require so 
so i am choose not to send compatibility reports so now let's go ahead and click next and from here we need to register our wp email plugin so for this you will require a registration key that i have with me if you don't have a license key you can click over here that will take you to wpml's website where you can generate one and of course that requires a purchase as well so let me paste my license key over here and then we will click on register and then we're gonna click on next so in here you will see recommendation for the plugins you might require for your website so this goes ahead and analyze whatever plugin you have so it gives you a suggested add-ons list for wpml in this page so if you remember correctly at the start of the video i talked about we will require strings translation uh, translation management and media translation you can of course install them manually as well but you can also automatically install them over here in this page so that's pretty convenient and one click setup wizard as we see wpml does provide you a seamless integration and compatibility report as well so let's check this off over here and we're gonna go ahead with the string translation translation management and media translation so that's the total four required plugin we will require for this series of demonstration we have planned right so now let's go ahead and click on install and activate selected plugin that will go ahead and fetch these plugins automatically from wpml repository and they will get installed and activated so we're gonna have to wait a couple of seconds over here since it does its magic in the background and now we can click on finish So we will land into our WPML dashboard, right? So here we see the WPML media translation setup is almost complete. We need to click here to finish setup. So let's go ahead and go with the flow that WPML requires us to do. So let's click over here, yeah. So as we see our notice board over here, it says to get WPML media translation fully working, I need to run this uh, task that will take few moments depending on the total number of posts. So as we do not have like a lot of posts over here, it's going to take like literally some seconds, I believe. So let's go ahead and click on finish setup. Yes. So keep in mind, you need to do this uh, just once right after installing the plugin. So as you can see, we have uh, the media translations over here that we do not need to really provide translation as is will like really describe them in uh, regional languages for placeholder and stuff so after this let's come to a crucial part this is really not like mandatory you can do it otherwise you can skip it as well but the next step i'm gonna show you that's really required to go further right we're gonna go to settings under wpml and as default we have multilingual content setup tab active so this is the page we require for our next step right so we need to configure some little stuffs over here that i'm gonna show you and explain it to you as well so you will see uh, the how to translate post and pages over here we need to select some features over here right so new content right we need to select wpml's advanced translate editor why you might ask because it's really useful uh, that we will take more look in our upcoming videos rather than the classic translation editor you will thank me later when you actually use wpml's advanced editor instead of the classic editor in future in your website so keep in mind but this is solely like your choice you can use classic translate editor but i believe and find personally the wpml's advanced translation editor is way convenient than the classic editor so let's switch to advanced editor as well over here so that's the two configurable options that we need to configure over here then we're gonna scroll down a little bit and find slack translation right so let's scroll down and we will find that as well so here slack translations so in here we need to make sure that this checkbox over here that says translate custom posts and taxonomy based slugs via wpml strings translation so it's already been saved and it's already turned on so we do not need to make any changes but make sure it's turned on by default or if not make sure you turned it on right so then we're gonna go to our post type translation and taxonomy translation so let's scroll down 
and here we have post type translation right so in here you will be able to configure some basic options for your post types right so we have post types then we have translatable then we have translatable uh, if language is not available that we can fall back to the default language and then we have not transferable right so these are the options over here so those three available options are you can either show the translated uh, language only or you can fall back to default language if translation is not available or you can select not transfer translatable right by default you will see some locks over here uh, beside some of the post types that's been controlled by wp ml config so you can actually click over here to unlock those as well like that says events right so over here it says only show translated items what if we don't have a translated item for the event over here we can use this section over here that will actually show or fall back to default language that's english for us if a translation is not available so let's leave this section over here as it is we do not really need to modify them but feel free to go ahead and configure the post options over here as you like it and we're gonna move to our taxonomy translation so in here you will see similar approach over here as well so we can either show only translated item or fall back to default language or not translatable right in here i will recommend you select certain options please follow me as you can see category it says translatable let's keep it that you see tags the post tags actually let's keep it translatable and you will see even categories let's set it to default language if not available and let's just set this to event type as well right so that's pretty much it so that's the recommended options uh, from my side you can actually select uh, whatever of values you want over here as per your need right so now let's go ahead and click on save and that's pretty much it that's pretty much how you install and configure wpml in a minimal way and come join me in our next video where i will show you how to actually translate pages post or custom posts right until then, I'm Sharad saying goodbye. This has been an awesome video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, a like to the video it would be very amazing. And if you can, please subscribe to the channel. That would be more amazing. Being that said, I'm signing off. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.